Howdy everybody, this is Bake with IronThroneCraft.com. Today we're going to talk about Titan skills and specifically how to set your skills for attacking and also how to set your savior up so it hopefully doesn't die as quickly. Uh, a lot of folks have been getting frustrated with the savior getting smoked as soon as they put it down. So if you are trying to keep your savior alive for longer, I'm going to go through the combat mechanics and how that actually works. First and foremost, let's look at this. This is Eve... Eve uh, crushing my savior. So if we go look at it, we look at Titan battle details. You see mine's level 50, hers is level 60, obviously. Scroll down. This right here. Guarded against the enemy's attack and took 3.373 billion damage. A lot of people thought that meant that that's how much damage your Titan took. That's not how much damage your Titan took. That's how much damage spills over. That damage relates to the Titan kill portion. So if your Titan takes all of the damage from the enemy Titan doesn't have any spell over, that's going to say zero. That's what you're looking for. That usually happens if you've got a gatekeeper that's equal level. If you don't have a gatekeeper, it's pretty hard to not have any uh, Titan damage spell over, unless you set your skills a little bit differently. So, when you're skilling your savior, I'm going to skill a level six first. Most people don't have a level six, but I'll show you this, and then I'll go through some lower level stars as well. And so check that out. It's a little further in the video. Fast forward if you don't want care about level six stuff. Um, first and foremost, a lot of people go for that tier 7 damage at the end. That's not really what's going to matter for your savior at all. Um, what you're going to look for is you want to increase your titan, HP, and defense. That's what you're most important, most uh, looking forward to. You also want to increase your savior, everything else like that. But the reason I switched over to troop and I'm now skilling troop on my savior is because the recent update in the patch notes on the forum, it said that Maximum damage done to Titans for their durability, which is what you care about for your savior, is now 2% from Titan damage and 6% from troop damage. So what this means is that even if you take as much damage as possible from the enemy Titan, like your Titan stats suck, you're still going to only take 2% maximum damage. If their troops rip you apart, you're going to take an extra 6%. So a titan is kind of like a mini sanctuary so what we care about is hp and we care about attack we don't care about defense because we don't have enough troops to care about defense when you're defending your savior so that's why you see me going through and stacking up my hp and my attack and that's what i'm doing here is i'm taking all of the larger troop hp and troop attack skills and then i'm going to switch over to my titan section and do that after that so you see how i went to all the way to the end of troops and did hp and uh attack now I'm back on Titan, and I'm going to go, and I want my Titan guard damage taken. That's a big one uh, right here. I want that to be maxed out because that reduces damage by 5%, which is actually quite a bit when you're talking about large, huge billions amounts of percent. So you can go over there, get more HP and defense on the top line. So for your savior, in order to get your savior to survive longer, take less durability loss, you need to worry about Titan HP and defense, the guard damage taken, and then Titan Guard Chance. So here's the Titan Guard's damage taken right here. Titan Guard Chance, what this does is it reduces the chance that you're going to get critically struck. Uh, so they won't hit you for as much. Crit hits for a lot harder than not crit. Also, these basic defense, basic HP, those are both good skills. But as you can see, I split it up. I took the best HP and attack skills from the end of the troop tree over here. And then I went back over to my Titan tree and I stacked up my Titan HP defense and other stuff like that. So that will get me to lose a minimal amount of durability, assuming I don't get utterly crushed. If you just stick your Titan out there and you don't reinforce it, you're going to get obliterated. That's just how that's going to happen. So now I'm going to skill my level 3 gatekeeper like this. I'm going to skill him like a savior and show you what I'm talking about for if you have a lower level savior. So if you have a lower level savior, number one, you are going to lose the Titan battle. That's just going to happen. If you get hit with a higher level Warlord, it's going to do damage, and it's going to do uh, quite a bit of damage. You're usually going to take a minimum of 2% durability loss if you get hit with a higher level Warlord. Uh, that said, I'm going to go over and I'm going to take my Titan Guard damage taken, and I'm going to increase that up to max so I take 5% less damage from their Titan. Now what I'm going to worry about is I'm going to worry about my troop skills. Obviously, I have a lot less trait points for this stuff, and so this is the same situation. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to uh, either reduce their HP and attack or increase my HP and attack using that. The bottom line, though, is if your savior is lower level, you're still going to lose durability. What you're trying to do now is you're trying to minimize damage. So I'm going to take my basic defense skill as well, and I'm going to check the Titan basic HP. 
and I see that I'm not going to be able to get to much on troops because of the fact that I've only got 30 trade points left. So even with 30, I can only get over to there, the enemy troop attack decrease, which is basically the same as the uh, first few skills there as well. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to max out my Titan basic HP as well. That way, hopefully, the reason I did that is so hopefully, if somebody's hitting me with a lower level Warlord and solos and stuff like that, it will reduce the damage taken. What you want is you want them to have to rally your Titan in order to smack it down. What you don't want is you don't want little 5,000 troop solos with the Warlord to be doing a lot of damage. So that's why I scaled it that way. Um, <clears throat> now let's talk about attack. A lot of people, when they're skilling their Titan for attack, have been really, really, really obsessed with getting up to that extra damage done to tier 7 troops. A lot of people are doing that. So I'm going to skill uh, level 6. Like, let's say you have a level 6 Warlord. This isn't a Savior. This is a Warlord. So many people go all the way down the Titan tree and try to get to that right there. Or do get to that. Titan attack, additional damage to tier 7 enemy troops. What that does is that increases the amount of damage done by your Titan to tier 7 troops. Only your Titan. It doesn't mean that you're doing all that extra damage with your troops as well. So it is far, far better if you are attacking an enemy base to go into the troop and get all the way down to the debuffs. This applies to all star levels on uh, attack titans, all of them. So even if you have a level 3 titan that you are attacking with, you still want to focus on getting the HP and defense decrease entirely skilled as far as you can. That's what you're looking for from your titan. That's why your how your titan will hit harder than a dragon is if you take all of these debuffs from it. Uh, the troop attack and stuff like that, a lot less important than getting these... Uh, debuffs here. So you see I went through and I took all the troop defense debuff and troop uh, HP debuff when my titan's there when attacking. Now once I've got all those done, that's when I'm going to go into titan. What I want my titan to do is I want my titan to kill pre-meat. That's what I'm worried about. I'm not worried about my titan doing a ton of damage to tier 6 and tier 7 troops. I'm worried about my titan killing pre-meat. So obviously I'm skilling it along this way and taking the attack skills and then what I want is I want that right there. Additional damage T4 and T5. See how much extra stuff I would have to take to get up at 6 and 7? I'm not going to have enough points for that. So what I'm doing is I'm going to max out the additional damage to Tier 4 and Tier 5 in order to kill Pre-Meat with it. And then after that, I'm going to go, I'm going to take my critical hit damage, I'm going to take my critical hit chance, and I've got 0 points left. So if you take all the defense and HP debuffs, you have enough points to get all of that, and then you have enough points to get additional damage to Tier 4 and Tier 5 troops. That will mean that your Titan has the maximum amount of troop debuffs possible, and also will do a lot of damage to tier 4 and tier 5 and theoretically take out their pre-meat. That is, it seems like it lines up pretty perfectly, and then you can take crit damage and crit chance as well, because you want to be able to bust through that gatekeeper shield and take out the pre-meat. That's what's most important when you're attacking with the titan, is the debuffs and the attack and everything else like that. So, I'm going to do this one, and see how he's a level 4? He's a lower level. And I'm going to show you that this, when I'm attacking with him, see how I just went through? I completely ignored Titan, and I went and took the HP and defense decrease with my level 4 Warlord. That's what you should be doing. You don't need an extremely high-level Warlord in order to get a lot of debuffs out of it, or Gatekeeper, if that's what you're going to be attacking with. So, see how my Titan's stats are entirely empty? He's not going to be as good at killing pre-meat as other ones are but he is going to provide a lot more debuffs. So I'm still going to have to look a little bit harder at trying to get something else to kill the pre-meat if I'm sending my Warlord. But once you get up to higher level Titans that you're attacking with, you do have enough stat points to take every single debuff there is and then also take the additional damage to Tier 4, T5, kill the pre-meat. That's the big part there. So please remember to like the video, uh, subscribe so you get notifications whenever I release new videos, there's a big domination coming up this weekend. Hopefully we get some good matchups and hopefully we get some good videos. Thanks for watching, everybody.